Have you ever had an image that looked like this one? Or even that one? I'm sure you did. And in today's episode, we're gonna tell you how to fix it and especially how to do it right from the beginning. So I'm going to hand over the SD card containing this footage to my editor and he will do some magic as always. Thanks. Hi, I'm Greeny and I'm going to ingest the footage real quick. So first things first, there are a couple different way to resolve this issue. <laughs> I, w I wonder how many people get this freaking dead joke. First thing I always do, I jump into the color workspace that's on top here. And this gives me a, a different layout I set up for myself to be able to work. So to give me an idea how bad the situation really is, I'm always using the vector scope. To give you a brief idea what we are looking at, uh, this is a vector scope and um, those points are representing the colors in the Rec 709 space. You don't need to worry about this. And this cloud is actually telling me where my colored pixels actually lie in the image. What's also important to know is the middle is the so-called neutral gray. That's because the middle contains the same amount of every color, which results in a natural gray. That's important for later. So what I can tell from just looking at this image is that we've got a blue shift because many of the pixels are somewhere in the blue space. And if we go to look at the footage, yeah, it is obviously a blue shift. So how can we reverse this? I'm going to use the so-called Lumetri colors. The Lumetri colors are actually on the right side of my editing uh, window. And as you can see, under white balance, we get a temperature dial. We got a cold image. What do we have to do? We have to make it more warm. So I have to shift to the warm side. And as we can see, the vector scope is moving. It's moving towards the center. And we get somewhere like here, where we are in pretty much the center, but I'm not happy yet. Now we've got some purple tint to it and we can work against this by adding green. And I will just tell green to be a bit more intense. And yeah, look at this. This, this, uh, this already looks pretty cool. And if we take a look at the vector scope, this intense spot is now right at the middle where the neutral gray is. And if you take a look at the actual footage, it looks pretty natural maybe i could do some tweaking but it looks pretty good compared to before let me show you before after before after and we did this in like 30 seconds so if you mess up the white balance it's not the end of the world but i do highly suggest you are not messing it up in camera and to not messing it up you need this thing and what this is, well actually that's not my job to explain, I'm just the editor, so I'm handing this to the host. Thanks! So, this is a color picker, and before we get into this, have you already subscribed to Greenbox and rang the bell? If so, nice! Welcome to the club! If not, please consider doing so. So, this one is a color checker, but what is it for? Actually, as you already guessed, this tool is to check colors. Actually, those colors enable us to find out if a lens has some color shift to it, which we have to correct in post-production. But that's not what we're using it for today. The great thing about this color checker, though, is it also contains a gray card. And this gray is a neutral gray, and as Greeny just told us, this gray contains the same amount of every color. So we can tell the camera that this is a neutral gray, which should not have a shift in any color direction. So what we actually can do is we can set the camera's gray point, also known as white balance, to this gray. And how to do this? That's just what I'm going to show you now on my second camera. So this is my secondary Sony camera, but this procedure should work with pretty much every camera. Once you found the white balance settings, there should be an option to set the white balance. Once you found that, just follow the on-screen instructions. In case of Sony cameras, we have to hold the neutral gray inside this little circle and press the OK button. Make sure that all important lights are hitting the gray card when you're doing the calibration, otherwise it wouldn't be a neutral image once you add a light with a different color. Thanks for watching! In the video description below you will find a link to where to get one of those. If you liked the video, leave a like, uh, consider subscribing and also sharing this video. This would really help me and um, this channel. And Greeny and I, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.